In every job vacancy you come across, one thing that stands out is employers are seeking someone with some experience. Every year, more than 50,000 graduates join the job market to chase after the limited vacancies. Employers have, however, been observing that most graduates lack the necessary skills. We got grades, so grades are very good. But what about the grade bearer, the person who, who handles the certificate? Can he actually perform the duties you've trained for? What about soft skills? What about people's skills? Can you relate with other people? Can you communicate in English uh, and Kiswahili? Do you use Sheng all the time? Do you resort to Sheng uh, before two sentences are over? Yeah, just because you're used to a lot of slang and sharing with your friends. You need, if you really want to build a career, whether you're going to be employed uh, in the in, uh, formal sector, you're going to self-employ, you really need to work on your, uh, your people's skills, communication skills, discipline. Uh, check out in the market what is really expected of me. Speaking at the 9th Annual Industrial Trainers Program, East African Affairs Principal Secretary Betty Miner called on institutions of higher education to up their game by equipping students with the technical skills that meet the expectations of employers. University cannot conduct themselves in English. They cannot have a conversation, they cannot write an argument and therefore cannot sustain an argument or a, a, a proposal in English, which makes it difficult for either employers or even whatever work or conversations. She knows that for Kenya to be globally competitive, a powerful and skilled human resource that can also be exported is key. This requires enhancement of closer collaborations between industry and the training institutions to ensure that we are always relevant or that the training provided is relevant to the needs of industry and the needs of this economy and therefore NITA has a very plays a very integral role in actualizing Vision 2030. The National Industrial Training Authority was urged to reinvent itself in order to offer training that is at par with the current trends in the job market. Caroline Kago for News Hour Business.